students assalamu alaikum in this video it's a small video i'm going to talk about the derivative of pharyngeal pouches this is the primordial pharynx you are looking at and these are pharyngeal arches a uh, small introduction about the endoderm and ectoderm mesoderm here you can the yellow one which is lining uh, the primordial pharynx from the inside your inner aspect is called endoderm where uh, which is shown in the yellow color and where as the uh, pharyngeal uh, you know arches are uh, lined by uh, this blue lining uh, lining or blue membrane it is called ectoderm so in between these two endoderm and ectoderm here we have have you know a mesoderm so i'm going to talk about the derivatives of the pharyngeal pouches here first pharyngeal pouch second pharyngeal pouch third pharyngeal pouch and fourth pharyngeal pouch so first pharyngeal pouch is the invagination of the uh, you know uh, uh, endoderm and uh, this is a stalk like you know invagination uh, uh, and this uh, is going to give rise to tympanic cavity mastoid antrum and auditory tube this dilated portion here is going to transform into tympanic cavity and mastoid antrum whereas this stalk like portion is going to give origin to auditory tube uh, this or eustachian tube this eustachian tube in future would be connecting tympanic cavity to the uh, to the pharynx and uh, here uh, we are as this dilated portion is going to you know transform into tympanic cavity and mastoid antrum so derivative of the first pharyngeal pouch are you know this is tubo tympanic tube because it is called tubo tympanic because it is going to give rise to tympanic cavity mastoid antrum and tympan uh, and pharyngeal tube here as here you can see uh, this endoderm and blue one ectoderm they come close very uh, close to each other and between these two layer we have got a small streak of or layer of a mesoderm as well so this portion is ultimately going to um transform into the uh, tympanic membrane which uh, is uh, embryologically originated from all three endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm second pharyngeal pouch uh, here it would be thickening of the uh, you know endoderm and it is going to uh, you know invaginate into underlying mesoderm and resulting into the palatine tonsil or uh, uh, palatine tonsils and tonsillar fossa this is the third pharyngeal pouch third pharyngeal pouch uh, basically give rise to two structures uh, one is inferior parathyroid gland and other one is the thymus and fourth pharyngeal pouch fourth pharyngeal pouch is going to give origin to superior parathyroid gland and ultimo branchial bodies so this was the you know pharyngeal pouches derivatives uh in uh, in next video i would be definitely talking about the you know uh, as a whole pharyngeal arches what are pharyngeal arches thank you jazakallah